Hey y'all, good morning. It is Monday and we have just closed our Disneyland inspired collection over the weekend. I just got to the studio. I'm about to go in um, and we have so much work to do. I wanted to kind of take you through how we get started with a big collection like this in terms of production and just kind of like what that week after a launch entails. So we have a bunch of production meetings to talk about the pace and how fast we can go, some scheduling, um, inventory, a whole lot of ordering. We have a lot of supplies that we need to get in this week so that we can hit the ground running and get this collection dyed. Um, this week is really busy also because on Friday we're launching our spring tonals. We change our tonal palette for what's in stock on the website every season and we're moving on to spring. So a lot to do for photos and listings and we have to basically overhaul the whole website to get that ready. So I'm really excited to bring you along for the whole week and show you what we're up to. The first thing that we do on a Monday morning when we come in after closing a collection is address all of the customer service emails. There's always a decent number of them from people that want to add things to their order or accidentally placed orders for things that need alteration. So we get all of that sorted out and respond to everyone. And then we start in on the most important document from the entire collection, which is our inventory spreadsheet. So we look at all of the sales, all the different colorways that sold on all the different bases as well as all of the market extras, all of the pattern kits, everything, and organize it into one master document that we can both order supplies from as well as schedule our staff for. While Brooke is finishing up the inventory spreadsheet, I am working through some emails as well with a lot of vendors and collaborators. Um, so I'm also starting on the inventory ordering. So I'm placing orders for things like candles from our candle collection collaborator, the burlap bag in Texas. I'm ordering our teas and just easier, simpler direct ordering for things that don't have to get made or have a customized order to them. So while I get all of that wrapped up, we're going to kind of join together once we've both gotten to a stopping point and have our production meeting in regards to this collection. Right now I'm taking a quick break from my computer work so I can do a photo for the Instagram feed. Uh, we decided that we want to post something on the feed to kind of just say thank you for uh, the Disneyland inspired collection, uh, er, you know, for everyone that shopped it, uh, who placed an order, you know, we really do appreciate it. So in this production meeting with myself, CJ, and my sister Brooke, who is our studio manager, she is walking us through the spreadsheet that she made, and we're looking at all of the numbers of total skeins ordered, as well as everything else that needs to get produced. We're looking at how our projections about what we expected for this collection match with what actually happened and what sold. So we're working through kind of the production pace and discussing how we can get this collection dyed and shipped on track and on schedule. We've been running a lot of experiments lately with how to increase our productivity so we're just discussing some of the details of that and how to implement some of the new things that we want to be focusing on. The other thing that we're discussing here is our bear yarn order which is a huge order that has to be placed after each collection closes because we need all of the bear yarn to dye that collection as well as our in stock tonals so we'll be changing our season to spring soon and we're going to need to decide how much more bear yarn we'll need. Hey y'all, today we have some more administrative stuff to do. I didn't quite finish all of our inventory and ordering for Disneyland, so I have to hopefully wrap that up today. I have a blog post I need to write on the new limited edition base for our spring in stock, which is bamboo, super exciting. Um, and then I have a call with our tax team because it's beginning of spring and that means tax time, really not fun small business stuff. Um, but that's kind of all I've got going on today. Just a lot of loose ends getting tied up. 
But the exciting thing is that the girls are starting on Disneyland. We're still waiting on our big berry yarn shipment to come and our big dye order to come, but they can start working on Disneyland orders with what we have. So we're kind of making the best use of the time that we can. It's also midterms for a lot of our student employees. So our staffing is a little low this week, um, but we're working with what we've got and let's take a look at what they're dying today. So it's Wednesday and right now I'm getting ready to photograph our spring tunnels, which is debuting this Friday. We're really excited because this season we are introducing a new yarn base, which is bamboo. I have my camera and everything set up and I have the yarn right here, which I can show you. So here's the spring tunnel palette. I have one of each color on the new bamboo base. It's Thursday. We are about to start packing up to go shoot. Well, he's already packing up to go shoot our spring tonal like picnic scene. We did this last year and really liked the look. So we're going to recreate it this year because outside here in North Carolina, there's a lot of things that are blooming and it's looking more green than it did last year. Last year, everything was still kind of dead in the beginning of March when we were getting ready for the beginning of our spring season. So now that there's a lot more that's blooming, we're going to reshoot this picnic scene and wow, he's already got everything in the car. So we're bringing the first two samples from the spring lookbook, as well as all the yarn and outfit changes and props. So we're gonna go pick up the last couple things we need and then we'll be heading to the park So we just got to our first stop to pick up a prop. We are gonna go get some cheese. We just got to the park and I did a quick change in the car, which was interesting um and we're gonna get everything out there the flowers are blooming everything is very green which is wonderful because when we did this last year the grass was dead the trees were dead there was nothing blooming nothing even close to blooming it was freezing out and you know we made it work we did our best but this year we are definitely working with a lot better environment for a spring look so we're gonna go set it up This is kind of where I'm sitting and everything that's around me for the shoot. And then CJ set up this huge diffuser because the sun is like coming right at me. But look at how beautiful this park is. There's tulips everywhere. We just shot all of the video shots for the reels here at the park and we are about to do some still photography of the yarn as well as the extras. We have like the wool wash and hand cream out here um, and just kind of get some of the general scene shots and some photos that we'll use kind of on the homepage of the website and in some other more like promotionally areas. Um, and then we'll switch to shooting a couple of patterns. So 
we just finished shooting the first pattern and we are starting to lose the light. I know it still looks like light and beautiful out here, but it looks like this for about 20 minutes and then the light is gone. So I have to hurry up and change and get in my other pattern so that we can get the second one shot before the light's gone. And we're supposed to go to a hockey game tonight with our oldest, so hopefully we're not late. This is probably double the footage we would usually try to get just yeah. because we're trying to record what we're doing as well as actually doing it. Yeah, we're so here. that's a little bit different for us. We were here what? Three hours. Wow. Yeah, three hours. Not yeah. including all the running around to yeah. get here all also. The changes as well. To, and to pick up everything. Yeah, but we did it. We always do it. We did it. Yeah, we did a good job. And I think it'll be so worth it. I can't wait to see those photos edited. Yeah, they're gonna turn out great. So it is Friday and our berry yarn shipment arrived. It is a massive amount of yarn. That's a lot of boxes. A lot of boxes. We got a lot of work to do. So we're really lucky that our berry yarn supplier is just right over the border in Virginia next to North Carolina. So it gets here pretty quickly once we place our orders. But because this order was so massive, it took a couple of days and several shipments to all come in. This is a lot of yarn. This is for all of Disneyland and then some overflow for development and for our in-stock tonals and all of that. We always order a little extra so that the team can keep moving even once more orders come in later. So now that the whole order has arrived, we're going to open everything up and count it, make sure that everything that was supposed to come came, and then we will drag all of this into our bear yarn storage area and unpack it all into its designated base section so that the girls can pull it to get it prepped to die as they need to. That is it. Spring tonals are live on the website, all 10 colorways, plus our special spring edition um, French linen wool wash, which is a really, really popular one for us. Our pink uh, peony petals hand cream. I love this season so much. Spring is my favorite season of the year anyway, but the spring tonal palette is my favorite of the four seasonal palettes that we do. So I'm so excited that it's back. I can't wait to see how it goes all season long. I still need to edit the reel that we shot yesterday at the park to announce the spring tonals, but other than that, they're kind of up. So I wanted to share a coupon code for you guys. Thank you for watching all the way to the end of this video. This is the first time that we've done a vlog style video like this. So use code SPRINGVLOG, all caps on our website, right in the checkout page. I hope you loved the vlog from this week. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought the most interesting or surprising part of this week was. Make sure that you follow along on Instagram at Sorella Yarn to stay updated on everything that we're doing and all of the lovely yarn that's to come. See you in the next video.